And one of the other aspects of that is that, you know, the idea that you know, people didn't necessarily see Ailey, you know, marching uh, in civil rights protests and sort of being out there on the front line. And yet, um, you know, Ailey, uh, I believe it's uh, Rennie Harris who says that uh, the protest was in the work itself. Uh, the big statements were uh, in the work itself. I mean, can, can you speak to that a little bit, Sylvia, the idea that um, in addition to this being uh, uh, the beauty of movement, there was also an inherent uh, provocation in the work as well? Absolutely. I mean, he was very specific about his African-American heritage, and he was very, very affected by uh, social issues and injustices. Uh, in 1969, when he choreographed Masakela Langage to the music of Hugh Masakela, it was the same year that Fred Hampton, uh, the Black Panther, was killed at Point Black Range. And that gave Alvin even more fuel, more fodder to do this work. He said, you know, this could be in South Africa, this could be in South Chicago, it could be in what? So the atmosphere was very, very, very smoky and very, very um, uh, of that time and that anguish. So, okay, he wasn't marching, but he was doing it through his work. He was doing it on the stage is where his universe of social protests lived. I would say the same for certain other ballets that he did, but Masakela is the one uh, that stands out in my mind. It's very riveting, and to this day, it, it speaks to us. I mean, he always wanted to celebrate the beauty and the intelligence of Black people, but he was a visionary. He, he believed in a world that spoke to many people and how they would see themselves in his ballets.